This is DJ745 for World of Reggae here in Jamaica, sitting beside an artist that we've had the pleasure of hearing musically over the last few days as well. I want to give a warm welcome to Fayado, to the viewers of World of Reggae. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Yes, sir. Blessings. Nice to have me, you know. So it's been good, and you guys been here. It's so wonderful that you can come and capture this little piece of Jamaica that we have to call it reggae music and the music of Jamaica so it's good having you blessings now you've been here in Kingston now for probably about five years now I would say um, but originally home for you is where Mandeville I'm Mandeville. from Mandeville Manchester so I'm in Kingston City from like 2014 pursuing my music career you know as a musician singer you know i was with the band six points but i'm now on my solo journey so yeah and this year is like five years being in kingston so yeah it's music, music. The same way <laughs> so one thing that i know is that mandeville has such a rich musical heritage so so many artists that we know of you know are based originally from mandeville how does it feel for you to be transitioning from living in the country to Kingston how has life been in terms of that transition well you know growing up in Mandeville Mandeville is like um, the place where retiring um, residents come and reside returning residents I, I should say mm. you know they reside in Mandeville so there are there are a lot of um, overseas um, migrants from the UK too as yeah. well you know come live in Mandeville so but the music in Mandeville now we have artists such as Garnet Silk, um, we have Luciano too came from Mandeville and those two artists for me was like artists growing up I want to be like them not really sound like them but you know how they carried themselves on stage and the type of music that they did you know so all of that was into my growing up in Mandeville and you know it's just adapting to this new city life here is like yeah it's very faster you know you can hear more traffic cars you're not really seeing a lot of birds and stuff because it's a city so mm. you know so it's like two different places but kingston has the music mandeville is where we can go and relax and we meditate and come forward to make music in kingston until you know i set up something down there okay. yeah for music like that mm. yeah so I know that you have spent some time over at Edna Manley as well. What, how was your time there while you were at Edna Manley? Well, school for me, you know, it was a great experience and it was a very um, meaningful experience in terms of learning new stuff, growing with fellow musicians, you know, who I was around, you know, learning the music, learning the craft, practicing, you know, honing my skills because you know, being at school I was a vocal major student so my main era of study was voice but along with voice I decided that I want to play guitar so I, I picked up the guitar at that time and started working my way through the guitar with other friends who I saw playing you know some of them playing with a lot of big artists out there now so you know I had the chance of playing with some of them and learning from them too so my guitar skill is is not much like them but you know i can really know what i'm doing mm. and then and try to do what i'm doing right yeah so school for me is like the greatest place you know you go to school and don't be no fool <laughs> <laughs> so as you mentioned that i first became familiar with your actual voice in a single that you released when you were part of six points a single entitled how far yeah how far will you get living with the same mindset you know that for me it was that period of transition coming from Mandeville to Kingston and then going back in Mandeville and seeing certain things like um, the, the, some people still living the same way not really changing much about their lifestyle so they can move forward and make progress so the song is really about that you know seeing people in the same thing doing the same thing every day in the same way and it's like they want to get the same result but you know they have to change whatever they're doing you mm. can't do the same thing every day and expect to get the same results so how far was me coming to kingston seeing what it is up here that i have to put in a lot of work that's why i'm here now so going back down to mandeville and then seeing that is like you know we have to do work we can't sit and be lazy and act like there's nothing happening 
we have to make things happen so that's that's what Mandeville to Kingston is for me making things happen instead of just sitting down and waiting mm. you know so yeah <laughs> so you obviously are very very skilled and crafted writer because we've heard some of your other music that I know is forthcoming in 2019 um, you're working with a producer over in Europe as well um, the Rockers mm -hmm. agency so how did that collaboration come about you know Rockers agency has always been you know one of those agencies that always reach out to to me and the, the former band that I was in six, six points you know and after I left the band they contacted me saying that they want to do some work so I'm saying okay cool let me hear what you guys are up to and then they send me this rhythm track and, uh, and I loved it because it's dub and you know I had a little thing for dub too because I love dub music too you know it's the heavy drum and bass is like yeah so I did a track on it called don't ask me why which is supposed to be released soon you know we don't have a set set date you know but sometimes soon people so just get ready and just gear up yourself so i'm doing a, a short video for it too as well so you know we just have things in the pipeline with me and rockers you know hopefully we can have more things coming up tours etc so right now it's really work time mm. making the music and production and everything mm. so the music is what it is yeah one thing that I've noticed in some of the songs that I've heard while I've been here in Jamaica from yourself is that there seems to be, you, you seem to be somebody that strives to attention to detail. You want to get it right. Yeah, man, definitely. Getting it right, sometimes I get it wrong to get it right. And the only place I can go as close as getting it right is, is like going as close to perfection. Mm. And none of us on this earth can ever be perfect but we can go this close to it you know and we and if we only aim to just go and make up our minds and just go towards perfection then you know we don't have no limits and there's no skies or no galaxies preventing us from doing anything mm. we can do whatever we want so we have to just make up our minds to get it right true, you know true. and being at school that's how I was trained to make sure that we get stuff right and make sure that it comes out the way it's supposed to come out. Mm. So it's like cooking, you have to put the right spice. You can't put too much salt, it's going to be too salty. So you have to know how to measure the balance. ingredients you have. So, you know, yeah. So yeah. the music, guitar have to be balanced, the drum bass have to be balanced. It's all balanced. Mm. You know, so the music is balanced. You work with um, some very talented musicians around you that we've had the pleasure of actually hearing in rehearsals as well. How did you get together with some of the people that you're working with musically? Well, um, all those people I'm working with, some of them are from school. Well, most of them are from school. Okay. You know, so um, I know them from school, Edna Manley College. I have to big up to Edna Manley College, who is doing so much for musicians now, you know. And, uh, you know, just to have an institution like that you know it's really wonderful in jamaica because students can go there and learn about the craft and can be better in themselves just only one problem we have is just that we have to pay this school fee which is not really affordable for everybody so we have a, a little issue with that so you know if there is anyone out there who might can assist anybody going to school you know just support the arts you know support the cause because there's a lot of talented youths you know who wants to really make it and really want to do something good about jamaican history and jamaican culture and to preserve it so edna manley is really one of those, one places. Of those places yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah. definitely and musicians from that school always you know no matter if you got there for one month two years four years i mean even if you go there for like a day there's something new about the space that you can always strike an inspiration in your mind and you know, I can lit that spark to, yeah. to, to do something creative. creative yeah whether it's music drama dance art you know it's, it's, it's a lot of things, things. Mm. Yeah. apart from um, the musical teachings at Edna Manley um, I know that you're also working with a few of the other sort of reggae elders I'm gonna call them um, we're talking to people like Uncle Dean Fraser yeah man Uncle Dean you know, Kenan Fraser, who works with Tyrus Riley. Um, I've been doing some work with him, you know, in the studio. 
Um, I don't want to really talk much about it until I'm finished, but it really sounds good. So I'm really looking forward to all the great works that we're doing. So you guys can look out, you know, and then you have to big up Earl China Summit, you know, from inner the yard too as well. Um, been there sometimes doing some guitar and practicing and learning new stuff. So he's like a great teacher for me too. So, you know, there's a lot of different elders, Mr. Michael Fletcher who plays bass. So he's like a mentor to me from Six Points. So, you know, everybody that's there, I'm just really thankful, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, Fayado, I want to give thanks for your time today. Just giving the viewers a little insight into the works that are to come. Um, just before we leave you today, I'm going to ask you to do as a little piece of Don't Ask Me Why, live and direct, raw and uncut here for World of Reggae. Yeah man, blessings, world of reggae, world of reggae massive to the world abroad and everybody, UK, Europe, USA, Australia, we want to go there to Africa. Um, this is world of reggae, this is Fayado and I'll be doing, don't ask me why, it's, it's coming soon to you guys soon so you can tune in and listen for this one, okay? Um, don't ask me why. Why don't ask me why? A man is just a man and he's gonna try. Don't ask me why. Why don't ask me why? A man is just a man and he's gonna try. Well, I reggae. This is fire. Blessings. Yes, sir.